how to get along with neighbors that you do not trust. Three decades ago, the communist leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, formulated a dream of a common European home. A few years later, after the Soviet Empire collapsed and the Cold War was over, for a brief moment in history, this dream felt very close. But very soon, a common European home became a distant dream again. Today, we are far from even thinking in this direction. Bigger neighbors are bullying smaller ones and undermine their sovereignty. Commonly agreed house rules got repeatedly broken. Some wounds of the Cold War are still open. The house appears divided. Each unit has been secured. But how can this deteriorating process be stopped? How to deal with neighbors that we do not trust? Of course, we can fortify walls and close all doors. After all, you never know what your suspicious neighbor may be up to. And it is better to watch out and be prepared for the worst. This is what military blocks conventionally do. They use military deterrence against untrustworthy neighbors. Yet, even military blocks recognize that this is not enough. For example, NATO acknowledged already back in 1967 in its famous Harmel report that the strategy of deterrence against the Soviet Union needs to be complemented by dialogue. Dialogue should not be seen as reward for good behavior. To the contrary, it is a vital channel of information and interaction precisely at times of crisis. Especially when trust is compromised, regular dialogue raises predictability, informs about intentions of the other side, and can prevent fatal misunderstandings. And here comes a positive side effect. In the process of talking and interacting, predictability and trust usually emerge along the way. This does not mean we become best friends, but at least we peacefully coexist. Trust is not a precondition, it is a process. Therefore, a lack of trust should never be an argument to refrain from action. In areas of mutual interest, islands of cooperation may emerge even among states that deeply distrust each other. Remember arms reduction talks between the US and Soviet Union that helped end an arms race? An economic agreement between arch enemies Germany and France that became the foundation of the EU? Or major diplomatic breakthroughs like the Paris Climate Accord? Walls may be unavoidable in a divided house, but we need to open a few doors and talk to the neighbors we do not trust. In this way, perhaps the dream of a common European home can be realized sometime.